Do you get easily tired and feel like spending all your time in bed not doing something? Do you dread the prospect of starting your work every morning? Does it feel like you'd rather do anything else that can keep you occupied and give you an excuse for not working on the things that you're actually supposed to be working on? Do you or people around you blame it on just laziness? Did you know that what generally seems like laziness might actually be burnout? Let's talk about four early warning signs that you might be burnt out, not lazy. By the way, my name is Sadia Khaf. I'm an electrical engineer doing PhD in machine learning. And on this channel, I generally talk about engineering, machine learning, and highly paid scholarships. But today, we're talking about burnout. So what is burnout? According to Mayo Clinic, job burnout is a special type of work-related stress, a state of physical or emotional exhaustion that also involves a sense of reduced accomplishment and loss of personal identity. Another definition that I found on WebMD is burnout is a form of exhaustion caused by constantly feeling swamped. It's a result of excessive and prolonged emotional, physical and mental stress. Burnout happens when you feel overwhelmed, emotionally drained, and unable to keep up with life's incessant demands. It keeps you from being productive, reduces your energy, and makes you feel resentful and hopeless. The major reasons for burnout include unmanageable workloads, unfair treatment at work, confusing work responsibilities, lack of communication or support from managers, and immense deadline pressure. Burnout isn't just overwork. There are actually three types of burnout. Overload burnout, underchallenged burnout, and neglect burnout. The first type of burnout, which is overload burnout, happens from excessive amount of work. When you are willing and often eager to neglect your health, your sleep, your personal care in order to finish some deadlines, you know, in order to finish your work and Submit some report, submit an assignment, overwork until you're exhausted. You often neglect your health to accomplish your goals in this type, particular type of burnout. It often happens when you work harder and harder, becoming frantic in your pursuit of success. The second type of burnout, which is a little bit less common, is under-challenged burnout. It happens when you feel bored with your job, when you feel like your work isn't meaningful, when you are not doing a demanding type of work. It happens when your job makes you feel underappreciated. Maybe your job doesn't provide enough growth or learning opportunities. If this happens, you might feel extremely bored with your job and start neglecting your responsibilities. You often distance yourself from your work and become cynical. The third type of burnout is a neglect burnout. It happens when you feel helpless in your job when things aren't going the right way. And you might often feel incompetent to carry out your responsibilities in your job. It is often very closely related to imposter syndrome, a state in which a person feels incompetent to do the job that they are assigned, where they feel like they don't have the necessary skills or experience or competence required to do their job. Here are four early warning signs for a burnout. The first biggest and the biggest sign for a burnout is feeling disconnected from your life, your surroundings and your work. A person experiencing burnout often feels disconnected from the surroundings, from their emotional emotions, their feelings and everything else that's happening. They often feel like life is going on on an autopilot mod without really being connected to any of the events or people in their surroundings. They often feel like everything is just going on and on and on and they don't have real emotions or real feelings associated with any of the things they are doing or any of the people that are in their life. This state can often make you feel like you have lost control of your life and you have lost the ability to change anything that's happening in your surrounding. And a very easy way to distinguish between laziness and burnout is that you didn't always used to be this way. You used to be connected to people. You used to feel these emotions towards your job and people around you that you don't feel anymore. So that is a clear indication that you're not just lazy and 
don't want to do your job, you might actually be burnt out. The second sign of a burnout is lack of motivation and losing interest. Remember, laziness is a character trait. So character traits rarely change over the course of a person's life. A sign that you're not lazy but burnt out is that you used to have interest in your job. You used to be passionate about it. You used to have interest in the things that you used to do, but you have lost that now. So if you used to be passionate about things before, about your hobbies, about your job, but you don't feel that anymore, and if you used to be interested in the things you used to do and you don't feel that kind of passion and interest in your work or in your hobbies anymore, it might be a sign that you are burning out. The third sign of a burnout is feeling cynical and hopeless, feeling like you have lost control over your positivity, feeling like everything is going bad and it's going to stay bad always. You used to be a hopeful person, you used to be a positive person and now all of a sudden you feel like everything is going wrong and there is no way to make it right. Losing control of your emotions and emotional well-being in this way is a clear indication of a burnout. Remember, laziness is more of a relaxed state of mind. When you are lazy, you feel relaxed, you don't feel out of control, you don't feel like you have lost control of your emotions and now you are your emotions are all over the place, you get irritated very easily, you get angry very easily. These are clear indications that you're not lazy but in fact burnt out. The fourth sign of a burnout is neglecting self-care. When you neglect your sleep, when you neglect your food, eating on time, eating healthy, doing workouts, when you start neglecting your personal well-being, this is a clear indication of a burnout. And this can be very easily attributed to just laziness as well. When you stop taking care of yourself, when you stop paying attention to your sleep, when you stop paying attention to your food, when you stop paying attention to your workout schedule, sometimes you might feel like you're just too lazy to work out when you're actually going through a burnout. A clear indication can be sleep. If you monitor your sleep, if you're burnt out, you're getting less and less and less sleep. Whereas if you're just lazy, you're probably oversleeping and staying in bed all day. All right, so what to do when you detect a burnout coming? The first thing to do would be to talk to your supervisor so that your work schedule can be adjusted to prioritize your mental health over your work. So as soon as you realize you might be heading towards a burnout, it would be a great time to let your supervisor know about it and talk and say that you might you be sensing a burnout coming or you might already be burning out. Because remember, nothing is more important than your mental health. Another thing to do would be to get enough sleep. Because when you take start taking care of yourself, it will start improving your mental health automatically. Trust me, people have written lots and lots and lots of books on the importance of sleep. One such book is Why We Sleep. I read it recently and it's such an amazing book. You should read it too if you are not getting enough sleep. I cannot recommend it enough to everybody. The third thing to do would be to try yoga, meditation or some light workout schedule that you force yourself to just stick to no matter what. Practicing mindfulness in your routine can actually significantly improve your mental health. I did not realize how important it was until I started working out as a routine and as part of my workout routine, I was doing these mindful cool down exercises where a trainer takes you through the process of cooling down with an effective one to two minutes meditation that is usually focused on positivity, that is usually focused on being more mindful about your thoughts, your body, your health, your state of mind and your surroundings. So these mindfulness exercises can really, really help improve your mental health. And the way I am practicing mindfulness in my personal life is by using Apple Fitness Plus. This video is not sponsored in any way, by the way. Uh, I wish it were. <laughs> no, it, it's not. 
I practice mindfulness when I do my workout with Apple Fitness Plus and at the end of it I do mindful cool downs. Some of my favorite instructors are Jessica, Molly. I really like the way they take me through these positivity, positive thinking, hopefulness and mi mindfulness about my surroundings. Burnout is different than just stress. Stress is a different state of mind. So some of the signs of a burnout can be overlapping with just a stress, which is another state of mind. So if you want to know what's the difference between stress and burnout and how to manage stress so that it doesn't lead to a burnout, then watch this video next in which I tell you how I get stressed and how I manage st stress in order to prevent me from running into a burnout.